euros. I'm going to compare the VR90 and the Manta. It's difficult to find out what's going to fit you the best. I mean, pricing is a massive issue. So I want to compare them and show you the difference and what you're going to get for your money. So both pairs before I start this actual review, they are both SPD pedals, they're SPD cleats, sorry. And they're both mountain bikes. So you can see there, so they're the same in that respect. So if we get onto pricing, massive, massive difference in price. So you've got the Manta, which is this shoe, £75, and the VR90s are £206, pounds, so they're like way, way more than twice the price, almost like three times the price of this pair. So obviously if price is an issue, then you can see that on Wiggle and Chain Reaction, all these different websites it's on. You don't need me to tell you what the prices are. So I want to show you the actual difference, I think, between them. So... The main difference, obviously, as you can see, is the fastening. So the cheaper pair, well, I'll say cheap, still 75 quid, are Velcro fastening. The VR90s are a lace fastening. And so for me, this is like my personal opinion about this, I have pretty wide feet. And with Velcro, I find that even with like a bigger size, I'm not able to actually close the whole Velcro um, strap. So I'll show you. So my the pair that I currently have at the minute, are the Specialized Burrito, they've stopped making this like in this style and I just like this style so I'm gonna have to get something else. But as you can see on that, like they don't ever close anywhere near. So I feel like I don't get that like full comfort and full fitting of a shoe to my foot if that makes sense. So out of these two for me, the lace fit better just because they are um, more customized, custom, customizable. How do you say that? You can custom them to your foot more. So that's what I really like about these. Um, what I like about these is they have a much, because they are mountain bike shoes, they have a much thicker tread. So if you are going to be doing a lot of like touring and um, a lot of walking around, then they have, you can see the comparison between them. Let me just make it focus. They have a much thicker, they have a much thicker, this pair here, have a much thicker uh, bottom so you're going to get probably more wear out of those and the fabric these are much softer these are a bit more rough not rough feeling but they're a matte and I feel like they'd be a little bit better wearing um, the only issue that I found with both of these pairs is I had to go up um, trying to think an extra size so I'm normally a UK 7 I've had to get an 8 in both of these to actually fit and even with the, um, the, the the bigger size in this one I feel like the end is so hard that when I'm pushing down on the pedal I can still feel my toes at the end so even though the width is kind of okay I feel like these I don't know I think if you've got wide feet don't don't try these or try them and let me know what you think I just feel like they're a little bit too narrow um, what I like about these is you get actual cust I'm saying that word again, customizable insoles. So you actually get just get them out of the box. You actually get these. And these will actually fit underneath the insole in there. Depending on the arch of your foot to make sure that they are like perfectly fitted, perfectly comfortable. Um, so that's what I really like about those. Um, you also get an extra pair of laces. That might not be a deal breaker for some of you, but actually I prefer that lace in the black shoe because it just stands out way more and just looks pretty. The weight of each shoe. So as you can see, there's not actually that much weight difference, but they are different sizes. So the Manta is actually a smaller size than this one, so it is gonna weigh a little bit lighter. I'd probably say there's 30, 40 grams, 50 max, in the difference of these two though. 